morning folks it's E Chip and Rob are in the kitchen and uh, having our morning coffee and getting ready to make a little breakfast for ourselves so we decided to take this opportunity to um, highlight one of the things that we've canned almost a year ago we canned some bacon and sausage and uh, since we don't have any in the freezer it's time to break some out of the pantry and see how it is now this is part of a, a bunch of bacon and sausage that we cooked up and canned like I said a year ago I think we got I don't know 10 pounds maybe 15 pounds of bacon and we grilled it all out on the grill we reserved the lard and have kept that to make soap but uh, now it's time to break open a can of the bacon and see how it is. Now I've opened other cans. I know it's going to be kind of uh, tender because it's been cooked a lot and uh, so we'll show you how we sort of um, you know crisp it up a little bit but Robert what do you want to say? Well um, there in looking at the different recipes and things there are different ways to do it. Most people are not cooking it before mm -hmm. they can it. I don't remember why we decided to do that. Um, the recipe I saw online <clears throat> uh, showed that it had been, I think, half cooked or cooked before uh, they canned it. So I guess that's the reason we did it. But I'm trying to think how much is in here. Probably originally two pounds of bacon or something like that in this pint and a half jar that we were able to cram into this. So let's open it up and you can see what's in. But the Rebel Canners group that I follow, they do a lot of interesting canning and unorthodox things, but the like I said, the recipes they said mm -hmm. don't, uh, don't call for cooking it at all. They do do it the same way we've done it here. Let's get it open. Oh, that's fresh. <clears throat> yes. What's that smell? Mm. The one thing about bacon, canning bacon, that's unlike other meats that we've canned is that it doesn't have that, that canned dog food smell that you get from other meat, which I like, because I really don't like that. Every time I smell canned meat, I think of Alpo. But um, this doesn't have that, and I, I like that about it. I'm not really ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not ready for my close-up. I probably have makeup all over my face. All right. So, opening this up, <clears throat> a sip of coffee first. So what you, hey, well, here, let me get that. So what you can see we've done here is we took wax paper. No, parchment, it? isn't it? Is it parchment or yeah, wax? Yeah, parchment. I thought we did wax. No, it's parchment. Huh. That's parchment. And it's just, it comes out in a roll. Yeah, you're right. Now I remember. Okay. So to roll this open, you can see what we've done. And from this point, since we've opened it, we'll obviously keep it in the fridge until we use it all up. But here's the bacon that we cooked on the grill, which is why it appears dark. Um, and... Uh, after we cooked it, we simply laid it out on the parchment, then folded it up and rolled it and fit it into the uh, pint and a half mm -hmm. jar. So we'll take some of this and we'll uh, we'll put it, we can either put it in the skillet to crisp it up for a couple of minutes, or we can put it on one of those bacon cookers in the microwave. Um, we can do any number of things. This bacon right now is very tender because not only was it cooked on the grill, for a time then it was canned for 90 minutes uh, pressure canned so it's very very tender and um, at, you know at this point it'd be great to put in with um, uh, beans uh, like if you're cooking green beans or something like, or you know pinto beans or anything you want to season uh, with bacon it would be perfect but uh, we'll we'll crisp it up a little bit for breakfast we do like the uh, bacon but we are not fond of the sausage that we canned. I don't think that we're going to do the sausage anymore. E chip, chef extraordinaire. <laughs> sure. Mm. 
such a talented man. Look at so me. So many skills. Mm -hmm. I can bring home the bacon and fry it up in the pan. And never, never let you forget I'm a man. <laughs> and what a man you are. <laughs> Shake your little tushy like they did in that... In that what? In that commercial. Oh, I don't remember anybody shaking it. I don't know if they did or not. I, I think she stood like this. <laughs> Do it. I did it. You gotta say the words when you're doing oh, that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and it smells so fresh and bacony. Okay, you can see it and you can hear it, but you can't smell it. I can. Well, the, our video, I mean, our our lovely viewers can't smell a vision it. Sorry. Right. <clears throat> it smells pretty good. It, because it was uh, first cooked out on the grill, it it's, has almost a grill-like... Uh, just a barbecue-like smell with the bacon. See how tender it is? It just fell apart when I turned it. Yeah, that and that's the thing. If you haven't had it before and you're not fond of really soft, tender limp, bacon. limp bacon, you're well, not Well, but I mean, we'll crisp it up. That's why we have it here. We're crisping it up. you got to be careful. There's a difference between crispy and leathery. <laughs> I think next time we'll try a process where we don't cook it at all, if we can it, we won't cook it at all, and uh, we'll just pressure can it and see if that is uh, less tender. Happy yeah. coffee, Robert. Happy coffee. Happy morning.